Season 6, Episode 4 of The Fan Showdown. Welcome back to, well, I guess this is your first episode ever of The Fan Showdown. Welcome to The Fan Showdown. Uh, this is a series I run on my channel where basically you guys out there, the audience, tries your hand at designing what you think the best PC cooling fan is, specifically for static pressure in this specific season. Season 6, you guys then send the designs to me. I print them out and we pit them all against each other to figure out who out there is really the best when it comes to designing PC cooling fans. If that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and get subscribed and start designing your fan for the season, the next season. But anyways, the first fan up today is the Power Cap, which was designed by Archer. Now we're only in episode four of this season of the Fan Showdown, but a trend is starting to appear, and that trend is centripetal fans. Archer said this is a radial fan combined with an axial fan with the inspiration of electric motor fans. So think about like uh, electric motor like you'd see in an industrial settings. Most of the time you see those big giant motors and on the end there's like a cover. If you look in the little hole at the end of there you can see a little fan and essentially what the idea there is as the motor spins and does work that little fan moves air down the outside of the fan case or the motor case to help keep it cool and that is the inspiration for this specific fan. The idea of the power cap design is to draw air into the center of the fan using these center centrifugal blades or these centrifugal style blades to hopefully produce a higher static pressure than you know a standard axial fan. Now, I don't know how <laughs> I don't know how well this specific design is going to do. At the very least, I imagine it'll be pretty quiet given I normally measure from the front and it's kind of all closed off. And given how closed off it is, you would think this is pretty tough to print, but it actually wasn't. It printed very easily. The supports all came off pretty nicely. So all in all, it might not do the best, but it's a pretty it's a pretty good design. Now this next one's pretty interesting. This is the C major and it was created by Milo. And I know what you're thinking. Right out of the gate, you're looking at this design and you're like, how how is this gonna do any good? <laughs> and specifically this season of the fan show, we're doing static pressure. There's like no blades. And you're probably right. This will more than likely struggle. I, I think it'll be lucky, lucky if it gets over 1.0 or just one millimeters of H2O in the testing. But the goal of this fan was not to produce or make something that performed exceptionally. It was music. Now trust me when I say I, I don't know anything about music. I really don't even listen to much music and mostly just podcasts. But anyway, I don't know anything about music. So after I go ahead and tell you everything I'm about to tell you, make sure to go down in the comment section below and figure out what I got wrong because I feel like I might be about to lie to you. Here we go. Milo said they wanted to create a fan with a balanced sound profile. And after watching a few videos of the fan showdown and doing some math, some music maths, and then some testing on their own, Milo landed on this design. This is actually the 11th version of this said design, the C major. And you probably already noticed that the blades are in a very specific area on the fan disc. There's a very specific amount of them. They have a very different angle of attack based on where they are. And the idea here is that is how we're gonna create that balanced sound profile. And if Milo's music math is correct in predicting what kind of sound this produce, it should produce a C major, a C major chord. Now, if I understand this correctly, which I, I probably don't, this fan has three concentric rings on the fan. Each of those rings should produce a different octave of the C major chord, C1, C3, and C5, Milo said. Now, I couldn't tell you what an octave really is, because I generally have no idea. So I would say go ask ChatGDP because if I told you anything, that's basically, I would just be regurgitating what the robot told me. But what I do know, based on what the robot did tell me, is that the C1 should have a frequency of 32.7 hertz. The C3 should be 130.81 and C5 should be 523.25. Now I don't, I don't know what ring should make each one of those sounds, but if I was to guess, I would assume that the ring on the outer edge should produce the higher frequency. It is moving faster. But again, check the comment section to figure out if that's true or not. Luckily for us, the sound measuring software that I use, REW or Brew or whatever it's called, shows the frequencies. So if Milo's maths is correct, we should see some spikes right around those specific frequencies. Milo did say the calculations they used for their fan design was based on a fan that, you know, spun at 2000 RPM. When I measured this one, I got 2016 RPM, so should be close. This fan is easily the one I'm most looking forward to in the sound testing. The performance testing is gonna be a little rough, but should be a good listen. Next up, we have Daniel and his fan Sawblade. Not much, if anything, was said about this fan. 
Daniel just said that if you look at it from the top down, it looks like a saw blade, and that's that's what it is. It's called the saw blade. There it is. Although not much was given about this fan, it does look pretty good. Should should do better than Milo's fan. Probably won't sound as good, but I guess we'll just have to see. Now, last but definitely not least is this thing. This is the Wonder from Down Under, and it was created by Stefan. Now, Stefan's going straight for the win. Do not pass go, do not collect $200, just straight up winner, winner chicken dinner. That's a thing still. Stefan said while designing this fan, he gave zero considerations to airflow and only cared about making something that would decimate every other single fan we've ever tested in season six in static pressure and hopefully every other fan to come. Shots fired! Shots fired! Essentially what Stefan has done here is turn the A12X25 into a turbocharger. <laughs> Kinda sorta, more like, more like a blower fan, but I think this thing's gonna rip. Also, I just love the simplicity of this fan. There's something about fans that look somewhat complicated, but are very, very simple to print. This is essentially just three, well, four pieces if you count the fan and some hardware. The both sides printed super easy. They're just no support, flat on the bed. Even the fan itself looks a little, a little goofy, but prints super easy. All in all, it's pretty unique, especially compared to other blower fans we've kind of seen over the seasons. And again, I think this thing's gonna, gonna tear it up because blower fans just are pretty good at static pressure. We all know that. Also, just look at how small that outlet is. You can definitely tell Stefan gave zero shits about airflow. This thing is static pressure all day, every day. But before we find out how well this thing does, and hopefully it does do well, or I'm gonna look like a bit of a fool, we gotta listen to these fans, specifically the C major. So keep your ears open. The Wonder From Down Under came in at 57.9 dBA. The power cap came in around 48.1. The saw blade came in at 46. And the C major came in around 51.5. But more importantly, when we're looking at the peak frequencies of the C major, what we see is one peak at 33.5, another one at 134.6, which are pretty darn close to C1 and C3. The C5, Frequency is a little less noticeable. There's nothing really down there by 500, but there is some noise leading up to it. But either way, this is pretty darn good work. And it doesn't sound halfway, halfway bad. Now, the big question, will it push any air at all? Or is it just, is it just essentially a musical instrument? Performance-wise, the C major came in at 1.4 millimeters of H2O, the saw blade came in at 2.6, the power cap 2.8, and the wonder from down under a whopping 8.0. What? What the f Placing the C major in fourth place, the saw blade in third, the power cap in second, and the wonder from down under in first, and overall they finished first, eighth, tenth, and seventeenth. Now the wonder from down under not only won today, it put itself so far in first place that it is just miles ahead of anybody else at this point. It's gonna take some significant work and some design prowess to come up with a design that's gonna produce more than eight millimeters of H2O on our specific setup, but I think you guys can do it. So if you're interested in trying to beat the wonder from down under or just creating another musical fan, make sure to go down in the description below. I have a bunch of links to different resources you can use, models to use as templates. I have 
drawings to make sure that your fan fits on the A12X25 frame. Unless you're doing something crazy, then it's just kind of up to you on how it kind of works itself out. After you have your design, make sure to send me a .stl or a .stp to the fan showdown at gmail.com. I'll then print them out, test them all against each other, and we'll find out if you can make something really cool sounding or something that just absolutely rips. Till next time.